theater was really in the cafeteria. So we had to rehearse after hours in the cafeteria in other rooms. Uh, and then for dress rehearsals, it had to be after the cafeteria was closed and stuff. So that was kind of interesting. Take down the set, put up the set, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I started in 1980 and we were performing in the um, M building, which was a sort of a glorified airplane hangar for all intents and purposes. For a long time, we had temporary theaters and stuff. And it was difficult because I, I kept thinking we really needed to have a really great home that we didn't have. The Art Center was being talked about and was being planned, but we didn't have the Mackinac Art Center. Um, I was present for some of the discussions about planning the building and then eventually for the groundbreaking. When I was working on my doctorate out at Nova University, one of the major projects I did was to do a study on why we needed an art center at College of DuPage. And so my uh, thesis was basically on that and I talked to Hal about it. I talked to people here, of course, about it. Talked to the community, uh, got, uh, did a survey kind of thing in the community. and. Um, how did take that to the board. They flew Harold and Craig Berger and myself to two different locations, one I believe in Minnesota and one in um, Michigan with the architects who had built those two theaters. And we got to walk around these theater complexes going, oh, we'd like one of these and we take this, but could you make it smaller? And how about if we take one? So we got to actually see what these architects would do. And this is again, how the college was so supportive. They wanted the best possible facility. At the time that the art center was built, it was incredibly forward thinking. Other than four year universities, these kinds of facilities just weren't available in Illinois. The studio theaters called it a black box. And went in there and they were painting the ceiling of it kind of a pink color. I said, what are you, what are you doing that for? And they said, oh, it looked nice with all the black and everything. He said, wait a minute, it's called a black box for a reason. It's that light-wise, <laughs> when we're changing where the stage is and where the audience is, we need always to have a black drop, uh, you know, the backdrop has to be black because for lighting reasons. So I, he said, no, I were told to do it, so I had to go up the ladder and they did change it, but that was very funny to me. I remember the date, October 11th, um, 1986, is when we opened the Art Center to the public. So when we moved into the Art Center, which didn't have his name on it yet, um, we had a program that was already ready for the Art Center, and uh, there were some very exciting things that went on for a long time. Well, it certainly was an incredibly creative time because suddenly what it was taking place in a cafeteria by day and building a stage at night had three venues and an ability to do all kinds of things. So the, the growth in enrollment and the growth in programming was exponential because suddenly there was an ability to really experiment with all of the arts because there was there was so much more available to use as tools for learning but also for lifelong learning and that's I think been one of the biggest pieces that's been so important about the Mac. <laughs>